What's up guys, it's Mod Gaming here, welcome back to another video. Today, I've got a tutorial for you guys, a Minecraft guide. I haven't done these in a while, I don't think I've really ever done this properly. But um, yeah, today we're going to be making an auto sorter in Minecraft. Uh, I know this works on Java Edition and Bedrock, and it should work in all versions of Minecraft. But um, before we get into it, make sure to hit the subscribe button and leave a like because we're getting really close to 100 subscribers and it's going to mean a lot. But um, yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. Okay guys, so here's an auto sorter that I have already built and I'm just going to give you guys a quick overview of um, basically what does what in it before we build it step by step. But um, yeah, basically here's the redstone which will lock the... Um, Hoppers here, so certain items will only go through in certain places. Here's your um, output for all the items that you're sorting, and um, here's the item, the well, the output for all the items that you haven't got sorted. So this is basically going to be all your trash, or just all the items that you don't want to sort into different chests. And here's your input. This represents input. It can be just simply water flow going into this hopper. Or anything but we've got a chest here for input and um, yeah basically these hoppers here will um, basically just set up the sorting mechanism of the of the auto sorter so yeah that's that's basically the really simple version of yeah how this sort of works and um, yeah let's get into building it okay guys so we're gonna start our new one over here with our input chest right there just like that very simple just yeah, the, it, it's a very, very simple um, simple way to build this, but it's very effective as well. But basically we want to put hoppers going across uh, just like this, and this will, well you need to make sure they're all facing the block at the end, and you need five of them just going across, and at the end where these two blocks of um, sandstone are, just simply put another double chest for your scrap output. And there's basically the top layer of hoppers and chests complete, and yeah, it's very simple, you don't need to change anything to these hoppers, you don't need to put anything in them. But um, yeah, it's basically as simple as that, just currently if you put items in here, you'll find that the item will end up back in here, as you can see. Um, but yeah, we'll go on to the next layer of hoppers, and this is another very simple thing. Basically just make a 2x6 wall right here just like that and you can just place six hoppers just like this right on top of each other now um this can be extended doesn't have to be three um it can be like uh, i've done one up to ten but um yeah it doesn't have to be three i'm just doing this for representation um but yeah, you can continue this all the way over but this is just how it's going to look for this tutorial but um, yeah, once you've done that, what you want to do at the very lower end of these hoppers is just place the double chests along here. You don't need double chests and you can even continue this um, down a little with um, simply a hopper mechanism like this um, for even more storage or if you want the storage you don't need the double chest at all. But just simply an area for... Um, well, for you to have the output of the auto sorter. And now we'll move on to the redstone part, which is slightly more complicated, but still very, very simple and very, very easy to construct. So basically what we want to do is make two layers off the, um, of the end here and we'll actually make it three. So three by three, a three by three square off the bottom layer of hoppers. Then right here on that layer, you want to place another amount of sandstone. Or well, not sandstone, just whatever you're using, and then we can make this little diamond shape under here, and it sort of looks like a gun. Don't don't ask, but yeah. Um, yeah. Next, in the little hole in the middle, we want to put hoppers facing. Sorry, not hoppers. Um, redstone repeaters facing that way, and yeah, this will create the lock. Um, next we can place these back on top and just put the redstone all the way across here. Then we can get our comparators and place them facing that way and make sure to switch them on. Um, and finally we get a redstone torch and place them across the middle layer of, um, of sandstone that faces up towards the comparators right here. 
So that's basically how the redstone works. And again, very, very, very simple. But um, yeah, that's basically the full construction of it done. And now we've got to get into the parts that will actually make um, its full on like sword items. Okay guys, so we're here and I'm using bones, coal and wither skeleton skulls for this example just as like in case your sorting drops from wither skeletons um, such as if you have a wither skeleton spawner but um, yeah this basically works for any items um, just they need to be stackable so they won't work for things like swords because you can't stack them yeah but um yeah basically what you want to do is you want to come to this second layer of hoppers right here the one that the comparators sort of face into um and just simply right click on them and what you want to do is you want to get an item that you know won't be stackable or that you're not gonna have go through here like at all because so you can use something like if you're in creative mode bedrock or just an item like that's very rare that you know won't be coming through here or what you can do to save yourself some well time is just go get some cobblestone or something and just simply name it in an anvil or if you have um, some plugins you can do slash item name and then just call it something just absolutely weird or just something so you know that if you have for example an amount of it you can't stack normal cobblestone on top of it it won't stack together and yeah but anything that basically won't stack or just won't be able to yeah have items stack on top of it so basically what you want to do is come into this hopper right here and place four of that non-stackable item just across there so you've only got one spot left right here and this will mean that only this area of the hopper is available and this will create a lock so only certain items can come through onto this um, area of the hopper so basically what we want to do is place our items that we want it to sort so we'll start with bones um you need at minimum 42 of the item to be able to create a sorting mechanism but as you can see they'll start emptying out and they will actually stop at the number 41 i'm not quite sure why it's 41 but it is and uh the reason why it's 42 is because you also have one right here and the rest of um your items should come out here if you were using more than more than 42 items and basically just continue that exact same method across um so yeah just with coal oh my god things are a little laggy right now um but yeah just go across like this um 42 wither skulls on skulls might be reasonably um reasonably hard to get but this is an example obviously but um yeah in the end you should end up finding your 22 of basically everything you had out if you put a stack in and um yeah there you go now it's set up so if we um for example uh get let's just use this and this and i'll just make it into smaller amounts so it sorts through much faster um but we'll chuck all this stuff in here so we'll chuck all that some of that and some of that and um yeah we'll just let this go through and basically what we should see is all the rest of the wither skeleton stuff well the yeah this drops from wither skeletons should end up in these three chests and the rest of the stuff should end up right here but um yeah i'll get back to you guys once all of this has filtered through it shouldn't take long and um yeah we'll see if it has worked Okay guys, all the items have just sorted through, and as you can see down the bottom that, yep, there we go, all the, um, all the weather skulls, skulls, bones, and coal have all gone through, and at the end here, yep, we've got bedrock and the water points, but, um, yeah, that's basically all I have to say for this, Bas um, you can also extend this out really, really far, so, um, basically this can go on infinitely, however, I think after a while it does become slightly inefficient and it's probably more efficient just to make multiple of these things because the items do have to filter through the hoppers. But um, that's basically how to make an auto sorter in Minecraft. I hope you guys enjoyed it and figured out what you need to find and um, yeah thanks for watching. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.
Goodbye.